because the challenge for England is to kick out of their own half when you're in a pressurised game and going set for set, Kev. Yeah, and the variation in the kicking game, they've got Luai, Milford, and at the minute, they're just splitting Sam Tompkins. He was stood in the middle of the field, they just picked that bottom corner, and like you say, it was a great kick, but poorly, well, they let him off the hook with a penalty. Bateman taking it in, not long now before uh, Junior Paolo is back on the field, and Samora back to 13. This is Cooper. Cooper in and down, just over 30 away. McAloram stands at dummy half and waits patiently. And now in by Victor Radley. Radley trying to rattle his way through. McAloram marches back to his little general's position at dummy half. Wellsby going down but gets it away. Watkins steps away, bowls it back to Tompkins. Tompkins now. England have got numbers here. It might be a good bounce. It's not for Farmworth. Samoa have it back again. They are living on the edge, Samoa, at the moment, with some excellent, desperate defending. Well, that's probably three tries now. We've we've nearly scored. You know, we had George Williams picking the ball up off a kick in the first set, Irby Farnworth and then Callum Watkins. Well, it's crucial. The desperation from Toho to, to try and stop Farnworth getting the ball, it actually puts him off and gets in his eye line, which causes the, the ricochet. And Milford's there as well in the backfield to pick up the pieces. We look so dangerous. You know, when, when um, it's Radley gets the ball in the middle of the field and finds a pass, that was what he did in the first, you know, for Callum Watkins. He did that again for Sam Tompkins. When he gets there as a pivot and gets the ball a bit wider, England look really threatening. Here's Lafay with a first carry. Never been beyond the quarter-final. Samoa, three times officially quarter-finalists in World Cups gone by. A little threat developing again on this left-hand side. Inside for Harris Tavita. England's defence reacts well enough. Good hands in a difficult situation. Who's going to pick this one up from dummy half? It's um, going to be May, tiny May. Lafay, 10 short of the halfway line. Back on the field, Junior Paolo. And it's well, almost like there's not been any disruption the kick is from Milford Makinson long hang on that big high kick but Makinson takes it without any real dramas and runs it back looking for a little space on the other side Tommy Makinson and when he goes direct he makes a half break and then gets pushed over and a penalty and a penalty for England. Tommy Makinson he ran 50 yards to go eight meters forward and then got a penalty as well I, I was, that is some carrier wouldn't it be some statistics yeah I was worried that he was going to get caught and get dragged back but fantastic carry by Tommy Makinson but Samoa you know they're doing everything right it's just that first and second tackle that they're just being a little bit too eager and letting England off the hook do you still get those meters counting on your stats if you're running sideways no, I think they paint the field north to south for a reason, Dave. I think that's how you get your metres. I'd have had some good metres if you got <laughs> for sideways and backwards. Especially without the ball, Kev. Right. Just imagine that. England now with a set inside their opponent's half and an opportunity to build again. But they've been here before without any effect. Can they settle their nerves or does this excellent Samoan defence continue to hold a grip on this game? McAloran is going to have to be patient here because Hill has to unpick himself from those defenders on the on the floor. Williams, uh, the little dummy, and he's through, and he gets it away. And that is going to be Elliot Whitehead. George Williams with the surge. Brilliant skills and bravery from him because he hurt himself in doing that. And Whitehead, who seems so often to be in the right place at the right time, there to collect a score. Well, this is brilliant from George Williams. Brilliant strength in there. It's brilliant vision to hit the ball at pace into a half a hole. And he'd no right to make the pass play at the end of it. But Elliot Whitehead, who played with him at Canberra and probably knew what he was doing, here's the penalty there. Gives England their field position, and it is a penalty. It's stupid from the Samoans in relation to where they were. But off you go, George Williams, right through two people. Ellie White on the sprint on the outside. What a finish, what a try, Kev. Yeah, and if you just look at number seven, Anthony Milford for Samoa, he just gets in front of the ball, which allows Elliot Whitehead just to get in the backfield. We see now George Williams goes through, and it's a fantastically beautiful, soft hands 
and that's what Elliot Whitehead does. For a back row, he scores lots of tries. But Samoa are doing a lot of things right, but they're letting England off the hook at the minute by just giving a few too many penalties. 20, 24 test cap, England test cap today for Elliot Whitehead, 11th try. I mean, that is, um, that is quite a return for a back rower, isn't it? It is, and he's a good back rower, he's a good footballer. He's one of the first picks in the team. He's had experience in most other tournaments, and he showed up there. And he knows George Williams, played with George Williams at Canberra, understand, understood what he was capable of, understood where he was going to push through the hole, and when, more importantly, where he needed to get to to take advantage of the pass. And I think if George Williams had passed the ball out the back to Wellsby, Samoa were ready to shut it down. So just either showing the pass and showing the dummy or kicking behind seems to be something that England have found to unlock this defence. Well, English flags flying now with a little bit more gusto than they were earlier. And here's the reason why George Williams setting things up and Elliot Whitehead. Right place, right time, and there's the ending. So here's the thing, this is what Samoa want. The team in the blue want slow rooks, so they can organise, they can be physical and dominate this England team. England want exactly the opposite. They want some rook speed and some bodies around the rook and around the players so they can find short pass plays and opportunities. Luke Thompson on the field, he's going to add a bit of uh, muscle as well. And it looks as though he's hurt, actually, from that initial carry. Watkins... I think Luke Thompson's... I think his boots come off. It looks as though he's got a, an ankle injury from yeah. a distance, but I think it's just his, his boots become dislodged. Well, it was Julius Paolo hit him with on. everything and he knocks his boots off. <laughs> <laughs> as long as that's the only thing that's missing from his anatomy. After a Junior Paolo hit. McAlorum, Cooper's going to have a go, no he's not, they're going to go down this blind side instead, and here's Williams who's anxious for more, reaching, he's looking at the referee to see if there was a suggestion of a high, there wasn't, and Tompkins with a kick that is um, stretching Toho, who brings it back towards that 20 metre mark where England are waiting. In the backfield for, for Samoa, really dangerous, Toto there carries it back now, Crichton, and then normally it's Suolahi who comes off the back, some tired defenders now, so it's important the kicking game from both sides, you know, is accurate. And it's Tavita back on the inside again, it's the other winger, Tiny May, who's having a go at uh, lifting the burden off his uh, bigger forwards, helping them get out, and Suolihi, who's just presents a threat every time he has the ball in his hand, doesn't he? Even if, even if they stop him in early stride, right it comes, Sua, England across in numbers. And there's one that play to go, that's all. Tackle five, so here's the last. It's into the boot of Milford. Easy one for Tompkins to take. Tompkins pouches, an umbrella of defenders come towards him. Milford missed him, flying in there. And England have possession from deep. I think Tanya down on the touchline might have news of injury, Tanya. Yeah, they've only got one doctor, the Samoan team, so it's taking a little while on the HIAs, but Farmuno Brown, which is not a surprise, has failed his. The um, view on Oregon Corfusi is ongoing. So that's one down and possibly one to go. There's a rule in this World Cup, if, if three players fail a head injury assessment, then they can bring on the 18th man. So there is that bit of leeway that you don't normally get in Super League and the NRL. Kick from Wellsby at the end of that and Young got fingertips to it I think oh well I think the initial knock but no it's going to be an England an England penalty here I think England penalty for a, a shoulder off the ball well let's have a look yeah, yeah. certainly some action on him isn't there Lafay, it's Lafay on Young again he picks that up and gets over he's in the corner well, yeah Lafay you can't do that you couldn't do you couldn't do that in a queue for the shopping at Tesco's. Never mind on a rugby league field. <laughs> so well, there's another why, opportunity for England here. That's why England have this penalty and what a chance! Thompson blasts it in. Missed the last couple of games, Luke Thompson. So he'll have been pawing the ground in anticipation. Bateman now pulled down. McAlorum's having a look. Picks it up and spins it back. Radley offers it off. Cooper now. The two props have been exchanged. Burgess and Hill off. Cooper and Thompson on. Can they do some damage? Radley 
They closed him down. The defensive line was up quickly to shut down all his options. So he had to go down with ball in hand. Little grubber to the in goal area. Oh, and it's just overcooked from Wellsby. And there's a, a bit of extras on the end of it. Spin. I think it was Harris Tavita, isn't it, who spun over the advertising hoardings. Well, the kick wasn't great. Wellsby had the right idea because the fullback wasn't at home and caught up at marker, but the kick wasn't great. He's okay. We carry on. It's taken on by Tiny Man. Five short of the halfway line. Well, Samoa have just lost all shape. You could almost throw a blanket over him, so there's no surprise where they're going. They feel like the England team now is getting oh, a little bit loose around the middle. That's, that's a good hit by Radling on Sohalihi. How dare you run at me, young man? Well, it's a great point that Kev makes in where Samoa think they're going to get the, the men. They get a 20 meter restart and they don't move from the middle. Trying to wear out this England defence so they can fight some opportunities on the oh, fringe like this one. Spotted a gap down that blind side and slides over to score. Oh, eyes up rugby league from Lingy Sal. That is a super try. That was real class in reading the situation and getting himself over. Yeah, and it was just deception out there. He finds himself at the hooker position. He shows the ball right, and I think he's Callum Watkins who takes the dummy. Everyone thinks the ball's going to the middle of the field. Liggy Sal, you know, sees the over chest. You see Callum Watkins feet the number three for England. And he's just not going up pace to get back there. That's a tremendous bit of skill, bit of deception from Liggy Sal. You know, he's still got a lot to do, shows the dummy, and Dom Young once again stays out. Probably should have gone in on this occasion. Well, I think it's Jack Wellsby that gets caught at marker. Callum Watkins is on his own and should give himself some space because Wellsby's not involved in this play. I don't know if he thinks he is involved, but he saw on his back. Lee Sykes sees that, runs straight past him. Dom Young's in no man's land. All of a sudden, it's a one on one for Liggy Sowen. He's too big and fast at that kind of pace and that kind of metrage out of the line. Well, it's the two Super League men who are doing the damage against England, isn't it? We talk about the uh, the pedigree of the NRL stars in this uh, Samoan side, but it's, it's the Super League players, Lafay and Sao, who have landed the sucker punches and given Samoa a lead here, which Crichton is looking to extend. Eight minutes to the break. Crucial moments, crucial scores. Crichton, a big green booted left foot of his, and he has got it. He has got it. So 10 points to six now. Samoa Lee. And Samoa are well trained in this nip and tuck game, real brutal game. They had one against Tonga. England haven't had a tough game yet. You know, so this is this is new waters, not for England now. How do they respond? You know, I'm not sure. Well, that's that's the element of pressure I was talking about in your mindset, your concentration. Two players clocked off there for me, Callum Watkins and Jack Wellsby, because he had a free run to the to the try line, did Liggy Sal. And in test matches, they test every ability, every sense of your game of rugby league, and they were found out. And that's that element of tough games and battle hardness you're talking about, Kev. Pavali here with the initial drive in. The Canberra Raiders prop forward. One club man with Canberra. Into dummy half goes Harris Tavita. The 23 year old who might just be done with rugby league. But helping his side here to an impressive lead. Six and a half to go. Sean Wayne and Andy Lass there on the sidelines. Perplexed, I think, would be an understatement. Out comes Harris Tavita and. Another dash from Soalihi. A flash of lightning down the middle again, putting fear in English hearts. It's taken on by Milford. Flattened. And he gets well, he gets an ill-advised offload away because he's given the ball back to England. And Tommy Makinson just happy to get hands on ball. England breathe a bit of a sigh of relief there. Again, Samoa just chased the middle. It's Suali who just goes straight through. Rad Radley's gone off and Morgan Knowles has come on, but it's exactly the same game plan. Straight through the middle. Tough to handle. They're going straight at Mickey McLaurin. Now that's clearly a game plan thing. They're, they're finding opportunities. Sua Lee, he's going through there. Bahali, he's going through there. Junior Paolo's going through there. So get him some help and then get the fast England players on the ball. People like this guy, Farmer, find some quick play of the balls. Makinson, find some quick play of the balls. This is the pressure. Tomkins taking over a dummy half for the moment here. Thompson takes it in. 
McAloran striding into position. Tough as they come, Nicky Mack. Bateman, has he knocked it backwards? No, he's not. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. I thought the referee had a whistle in his mouth, but he's changed his mind. England retained possession, albeit scruffily. Josh Papali, he's only oh, got one boot. it with a break. Forward gets a half a break. But quickly closed down by Toho. Last play here, England on the front foot. Williams puts the kick towards the corner. The bounce, the bounce. Not quite. It's it took not a risk quite there. the reverse so bounce that they were hoping for. Jack Somebody Wellsby told him about, everything. about rugby league and the bounce of the ball. Oh, they not know that Jack Wellsby and the team in white are going to chase absolute... Oh, he took a risk there, so early. He gets the result in the end, so... Maybe he just knew that Josh Adokar wasn't on his outside. <laughs> super try we saw last night for Australia against New Zealand in not quite similar circumstances. Samoa, four and a half minutes to go before half-time, have a lead, which is stunned at 90% of this crowd here at Arsenal and here they come again with Toho Tim Laffey has been sensational in this opening now all the middle runners have been sensational and the penalty, penalty there as well crusher crusher they're tackle just, they're just not coping with the middle they're not coping with Laffey not proper with Suolihi and the junior Paolo and Pahalihi coming up the middle Jaden Sua yeah, they're spreading the work across the board, aren't they? But yeah, they're sticking so to the same Morgan place Powell's on the field in the Fortnite. middle channel. I don't think it'll be long before Victor Radley comes back on and maybe slots in at nine for Mickey McLaurin. That's good on report. So the disciplinary will have a look at that in the coming week, which might have implications for next week's final. They're actually doing to England what England did to them in the first game, exposing their middle or playing quick at their middle rather than exposing people. Work out there, Mike. Get square, Luke. Good Hold it. Up to his feet, Hannes Tavita, Luai, helps it on its way to the sizeable bulk of Junior Paolo. He runs with power as well. And again, that just a big, big, solid effort right down the guts of that England defence. They'll do well to hold out here, England again, because Samoa on a bit of a roll. Luai with a short pass. Sarkane charging on at pace. They're going to go back towards the middle. Paolo Milford kicks behind. Tompkins has that covered. Has that covered. Brilliant from Sam Tompkins. Had to let that go. The element of pressure that's on the England are under at the moment. They needed that 20 metre restart game. Yeah, England looked very flimsy though at the right edge. Scored a couple of tries and Liggy South pierces straight through once again. The execution of Milford's kick just too long and lets England off. So Watkins. With the first carry, three minutes to the break. Young. Snapped up by Lafay before he's in any kind of stride again, but they go and search down that left-hand side of Samoa's defensive line. Knowles trying to bully his way forward, wants to spring up and gets up relatively quickly. Williams again with that running game of his. Testing that Samoan defence, keeping them honest. Tomkins had a dummy half. Wellsby was there as a foil. Samoa not taking the dummy. Wellsby stayed down injured. Williams now kicks towards the corner. Suali underneath it. Try to hang up as long as possible in the air. When he comes down, Herbie Farnworth grabs a hold, and Samoa have to start from there. And this is this is robust from England. The offload was a little gamble but it's paid off and Samoa advance midway inside their own half yeah, England really struggling with the outside backs now for Samoa it's the second phase that's killing them from this man Tim Laffey Stephen Crichton we see it again it's that, the offload, minute. that offload again so back towards the middle the offloads mean that instead of tackling six times in a row England's defense is tackling seven eight sometimes nine times in a row which draws the juice out of the tank thought you'd stopped them well off they go again Harris Tavita inside now for Kafuzi. last play England will have some relief at that but there's a threat coming from the boot of Luai Young underneath it again it hangs up there for what seems like an eternity no doubt Lafay in to make that tackle Young is punched to the ground from the yard he picked it up in Wellsby goes out from Dummy Hart 
into the last 45 seconds of this first half. Watkins. Samoa quite happy just to keep England penned inside their own half for what remains now, the seconds that remained of this opening period. Making some... Trying to put a bullet hole through the middle of the defence, but stopped. Bateman, again, strong in the carry. Punching above his weight, but not strong enough to shake them off. Knowles, an unlikely sixth tackle kicker. Swahili, a very likely lad when it comes to returning that kind of a kick. But England's defence is ready. Harris to beat up. Searching towards his right hand side. I think that will be the last play. The clock has counted down, and the stadium clock counts down as well. Well, what a shot to the system that has been for England in that opening half. What a terrific first 40 minutes from Samoa. They scored first, they scored last in that half, and for the first time, they are sending England in behind in a World Cup, this World Cup tournament. Samoa on top. They are leading here at half-time by 10 points to six, and there's plenty to do in the second half now. They don't get the message. Damn, they don't get it. I show them real coherent, transparent. They use it as leverage. Yeah. And most of these niggas you see as my fellas, the others just jealous. Damn, they so jealous. The road to success is a journey, my niggas. It's known by exes, so fuck on my exes. So I just buy me money, yeah. About this items, I don't care. All they do is talk and talk and bitches shut your mouth, a bit do the walking. When you get the jogging, don't you get exhausted? <sighs> just throw the towel and forfeit, you poor kid. Damn. Or it's mad as well, a bit of rate, decapitate, annihilate, and show these niggas I was really done. Russian chicks call me handsome. Shout out to the niggas. In London to the stage, off and off with fake nigga every day. Why we try to burn time? My main chick be mine now, my side chick be vape. Cause I ain't got the time to date, nigga. I just bustin' up, then I gay. The only thing we have in common is that we don't relate. Cause I'm great, yeah. cause you fake, yeah. cause you late. You don't know uh. what it takes yeah. to be you, to be true, to be great, yeah. to be straight, yeah. to be aligned uh. in your mind and just shine. <laughs> the ability to get into the final. Willie, final thoughts. They create as many chances as they did. They'll start to convert them, and England could get this game. That's a danger for Samoa. Uh, John, just simply take the chances. Take the chances. It's right there for them. It's a very close game, but you, I reckon you get between, you know, eight and ten chances in a game, really. And they've had a fair few in that first half. Uh, they've got to convert the first couple that they get here. We are 40 minutes from finding out who Australia's opponents will be in the final at Old Trafford next Saturday afternoon, which you'll be able to watch with us here on BBC One. What a big 40 minutes is ahead, though, for Sam Tompkins in England and Samara as well. Let's rejoin Kevin, Brian and Dave. Well, what a second half we're looking forward to now. Five years ago, 2017, Samoa in the quarterfinals lost 46 points to nil against Australia in Darwin. It was an inglorious exit. But five years on, what a difference. They are on the cusp of a World Cup final, a history-making World Cup final if Samoa are going to get there. But England looking for a big response here. Finalists five years ago, lost by the slenderest of margins. They want to get back there. They've got a story to rewrite against Australia. Question is, can they do it? Well, it's simple for me, Dave. England have to go back to their own processes. As we see Lafayette here trying to expose them on the flanks and play through this Samoan team are probably not around them, which is what I think they've been trying to do in element. Get back to their simplistic stuff, fight for some rook speed and get Williams on the ball and people around him. And Kev, as a player, what would you have been expecting to hear from Sean Wayne at half time? Oh, they took the paint off the walls for sure, I think. You know, it, it, it summed it up, Dave, at the end of that half where Morgan Knowles is kicking the ball. That, that for me, just summed up with England today. They're just not at the races. You know, it doesn't look as fluent as he has been. Sam Tompkins said at half-time that, you know, that's the worst they've played, and I agree. But the good thing is, if that's the worst they can play, they're still very close in this game. If they can 
change it round a little bit. You know, it'll be a real competitive half. Spencer Linneau on the, from the interchange bench, bustling forward from that penalty. Samoa have got a great position again here. And a solid hit forward from Paolo, just sent a shudder through the timbers of the English defence. And he took another step forward after that contact as well. Good closing down on Luai by Watkins, but still alive. And Kafuzi with a push. And Samoa almost within touching distance of a perfect start to the second half here. Danger from Suelihi. Stepping and shimmying. England back on their own line here. Heels to the back of the wall almost. Out it comes towards Luai. Luai spins it away. Lafay steps inside. His teammate, Callum Watkins, the two Salford lads combining again. Watkins with a tackle. Last play. Luai with a kick away. A dash into open space. Back it comes to Sao. Now it's with Luai. Luai, they've got so many numbers on that right hand side. But Mekinson comes in and drops on the ball begins an attack from there. The roar there was a relief because had that not gone to ground, Samoa in again. Well, you can put that in the missed opportunities bracket along with all them England chances in the first half. That was a massive opportunity to score the try. They had four on one and Tommy Makinson comes in off the poor pass and gets the ball. Massive let off from Samoa. Well, it was pointed out, wasn't it, with our studio guests that taking opportunities is crucial. Well, we talk about moments in matches. And it's hard to tell which are the most important. I just wonder whether that might be one we're looking back on, whether Samoa look back on that ruefully. Or do they just brush it under the carpet and carry on doing what they're doing? What a battle on this edge. Yeah, Lafay and Watkins. They're going on the blind side on the sixth. This is um, a little bit unstructured from England. Williams with a kick over the top. Macon, so it got a touch. Toho. I tell you what, England, England have been lucky there. Well, it's a England result for lucky. England. It's just scruffy again, Nobby, wasn't it? Yeah. Just scruffy. Yeah. Well, they get a result, and they've got field position here, because I think it's Toho that barrels the ball out on that right-hand side, doesn't catch the clean, the kick cleanly. Sam, you're on the touchline, what do you say? Yeah, we've got the half-times from uh, the two coaches from England. Make sure we complete, we've given two seven-tackle sets away. We've got to be better on the last tackle play and better in the detail. We've got to put them under pressure. Not much from Samoa. It's a tough game. They're not happy with the penalty count, though. They want a decision off the ref. Says it's a 6-2 penalty count. We've not had much from the Samoan coaching camp all week, all tournament. Why should anything change? England with Thompson. Inside the ten. England potentially poised here. McAlorum picks up a little step and a shimmy by Cooper, and then a real push with his muscular frame, but Samoa holding on. Williams arcing back in again and uh, bullied to the ground. Some big bruising bodies collapsing on top of him. McAlorum, Tompkins, oh, and they're trying to go short again and what Whitehead was insisting he'd been taken a little high there the head went back certainly Williams with a kick over the top Watkins is chasing it Lafay gets it Lafay's dropped it picked up scored scored John Bateman what a moment referees putting the square in the air but this might be Lafay 2 Watkins 1 this might be where Callum's got his own yep. back Let's have a look and hear from the video referee. No worries. Video ref to match director. Got a live decision to try. Can we go back and freeze on the boot for the kick, please? And then we'll play through from there. Just freeze there. Yep, so right side kick chase right side. Can we just play through here now on this angle? Tim Lafay jumps from the field of play. I need a close-up on that to make sure he's not contacted whilst in the air. Right, so the foot is down. Playing on at this point to knock on from Tim Lafay. Clean possession by John Bateman, and the ball is grounded. Thank you, I've seen all angles to make my decision. Opportunity missed at one end. Opportunity taken at the other, and England back level 
and a kick that will surely put them in the lead. And Tanya said that the message from Sean Wayne at half-time was they've got to finish the sets better. And on that occasion, it was a spot-on kick right on the money to put pressure under Lafay. And it's 2-1, Dave. Watkins gets stuck into his club, mate, forces the error, and John Bateman just does the easy thing and puts the ball on. Makinson puts it over, 12 points to 10. The pendulum swings only slightly, but it's back in England's favour. Oh, here you go. Callum Watkins is back in the game. Pressure on Lafay, he drops the ball. John Bateman picks it up, puts it right under the H's, which he loves. But Callum Watkins is back in this game and on top of his number at this moment in time. So the celebration here from Bateman after he scores, I think, tells you how much pressure England were feeling and still are, but the delight, the sheer delight there from him after that, knowing that that was a huge moment in an enormous game. England back with a lead, now the noise lifts a little inside this Arsenal stadium. Young, not seen much of him running today for obvious reason. England not been able to create the chances. Cooper. England's big men looking to create the platform now. McLaurin, Williams, off quickly, Whitehead puts the foot down quickly into fourth gear, well, but tackle. They need a finish to this set. This is a great set after scoring a try to get themselves right the way down the field with the kind of play we've seen all tournament from England. Quick play, the balls, people moving around. They now find yourselves the last play. Switch the numbers to that left-hand side where Williams will put it up. England are loaded up. They've got plenty of bodies up there, but wonderful leap by Suwali. Terrific leap by Suwali in amongst those advancing limbs. Well, England will be happy with that, Dave. They, they get him in the corner. Suwali is taken out of this set. He'll probably have another carry later on, you know, but they can squeeze right up. I agree with what Brian's saying. I think Mike Cooper, since he's come on, has really took it to this Samoan pack. Samoa's turn to go lateral. England offside. Penalty for Samoa. Well, we certainly know it's not going to finish 12-10. I think, I think we're certain about that. There's going to be more points here. And here's another opportunity for Samoa to try and build inside English territory this time. Last time they were down here, they spurned a wonderful opportunity. Harris Tavita, Milford helps it along. Now it's with Suhalihi, and Farnworth doesn't quite do the job on him, but does enough to slow him down. He is a freak of nature. Wow. Whitehead got there to finish the job. In by Sua. Eight away. Still loads of tackles in the bag, relatively speaking. Switched away, Paolo to Milford, Milford to Lafay. Lafay steps on the inside, gets that pass away. England's defence is smart, Bateman ready and waiting. When Luai got that ball, Milford. Papalihi not only stopped, but he can't deliver an offload either. Full effect from the English defence, but one more to go because Luai's dancing now. Oh, he's found the gap, puts it back on the inside. Paolo spins it away. Luai belts it on. Right and will finish. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Wow, for my people and Samoans around the world, get out of your chairs and cheer that moment because that was simply scintillating handling. They refused to let the opportunity go and now they're back in the league. Well, that's brilliant rugby league football. By anybody's standards, by anybody's world class, that is world class. And it's Luai that causes the problems. He goes back over his left foot, back over his left foot. He's no right, he's going to score himself. He finds the ball to Junior Paolo, who does the speculate Luai again, and Crichton finishes. What a try and what a play. I think that's up there with a try in a competition. And almost the tackle of the competition too by, I think it's George Williams, who gets Paolo around the legs. But what a ball. Firstly from Luai and the feet. He's really becoming more and more dangerous in the, this game, but look at that for an offload. That's a front row, 125 kilos, coming up with skill like an halfback. The skill levels in that try game were unbelievable in many respects. First of all, Luai, who would dream of having footwork like that? You're going at the line, you're going to the line, you move so laterally and so quickly. 
and he's involved in the second play as well. He pats the ball back when Paolo's got the ball back. You score, we score. Story of the second half so far. But what a score that was from Samoa. That'll live long in the memory. Samoa hoping that it's not the last eye-catching moment from their point of view. England got a job on their hands again now. Crichton jabs at it left-footed. And yet, 16 points. They have 12 points. England have 30 minutes left to play. Mentioned the crowd there before, after the try for England. But the, the crowd now, there's a section of some one fan has just been ethos, making as much noise as every single England fan in here. So passionate about the sides. There they are, having a great day. So England restart, Samoa get possession back again. This next 30 minutes means the world to all those players down there. This is where you ignore burning lungs and aching limbs and put your body on the line because a World Cup final at stake. Nobody from these aisles have won a World Cup since 1972. The iteration that year was Great Britain. England, as England, have never won it. Though they've been in a couple of finals. Samoa hadn't even reached this stage until today. So it'll be earth-shattering if they can get their way to a final. Strap yourself in for this next 30 minutes. A try the difference. Last play. Luai gets it away before Bateman hunts him down. Bateman was coming at speed. Young underneath it. Lafay's got eyes on him, but Young's only got eyes for the ball. And England start here from 15 metres out from their own line. And Watkins... Just trying to knock down that blue bricked wall ahead of him and having no luck. Tompkins now, Mekinson. He'll run at anybody and anything. Will they just keep grabbing a hold of him? McElorum out of Dummy Hart. Farmworth now. So the three quarters are having a big say in the early stages of this set. Here's McElorum. Thompson's pawing the ground almost literally before he goes crashing in. But they've reached tackle at five. So on the last, it's the duty of Tompkins to try and get a kick away that's good. It's spinning, but it's not going to cause too many problems for Tiny May. It's probably 20 metres too short, though, Dave. This is going to be an attacking set for Samoa now. They'll be happy with that. Tiny May took the ball back to his 30, and they'll start this, you know, setting out in, in England's half. Ooh, that pass from May was not the best for Luai, but he's making it into something a little more special than it really deserved. He's making the game, isn't he, Luai? He's making his own look, his own footwork. Apologies, that was Toho, wasn't it? But it's um, Toho, yes. It's Tui Langi now who takes it on. 35 metres out. Harris Tavita. England's defensive line, desperate to get up there quickly. Bustled forward again. Physical stuff. The juggernauts driving Samoa into position. Now comes a little bit of delicacy and footwork and handling and Lafay with all of that, but Tompkins down low. Good save from the fullback. What a place to start a set for Samoa as well. Great kick from Milford all the way through. England with it all to do. One of the questions we asked at the start of the game and the start of this second half, could they find some field position through their kicks? England in the biggest fight they've had in the World Cup so far, without a shadow of a doubt. No fatigue. You know, Mickey McClory, he couldn't get into the, the back of the rut there. He can't get in again. Sam Tompkins again in. They brought Victor Radley on now. He's, he's on with Morgan Knowles, but I thought they might have rotated Mickey McClory. Give him a rest and bring him back to finish this game. Williams kicking. That's a good That's kick. A That's kick. a much better much kick better. from Williams. Terrific. Appreciated by the crowd because it means that England's chase when it gets up there, as long as it stops so Alihi, and it does mean that Samoa start as close to the line as they have been for a long time in this second half. But England had to be sharp, a, a, an attempted ball steal on Sam. But he keeps a hold, tightly. Here's May, Taylor May, England dancing around him, three of them. Harris Tavita. 
It's with Toho. But England clamping around him, not just stopping him running, but stopping him passing as well. The damaging offloads kept to a minimum. Palihi, great feet, just has his shoulders pulled back and his knees left in place. Last play again, Luai in control of the situation. Young, though, should have it, should have it. Oh, what a mistake! What a mistake from Dom Young. Right. Simplest catch of the afternoon. That's what the coach thinks. That's what he feels. England under pressure now. But it, this Samoa's process is getting England at the moment. They're prepared to hand over the ball five metres from the England's try line and five metres in. The kick chase is good. They're doing an England to England if that's possible. And this is a straight drop from Dom Young. He almost had too much time, but he, he lifted his eyes up. He was looking for the chase. Jerome Luai now, he's just got a ball on the string, he keeps putting it in this corner. It's a massive set for England. Samoa so dangerous from these sort of pieces. Who would be a coach, Brian Noble? Who would be a coach? Everybody's feeling it, but the coach feels it more than anyone. Well, with 25 minutes to go, there are some answers there still for England. The messages need to go out there, what they need to do. New, huge set here, huge set here. And Samoa have numbered up on that far right-hand side. Crichton dragged down. Penalty, differential, offside at the scrum, so they can't kick for goal. Can't kick for goal, but they do get another set of six. Crichton's taken his bonnet off, I think he was saying, I want to, I want to have a kick here, and the referee's just reminded him of the rules. That's huh. differential penalty, Stephen. You've got to take a tap. So the discussion changes. <laughs> and Jerome Luai's just said to the referee, put two fingers in the air, we'll go for two red. You can't, it's a differential. But they don't teach players the rules anymore. Anyway, they will get a full set of six. Full set of six. To have a go at this English line. To Ilangi with the initial drive. Harris Tavita comes to the left hand side. It's a push by Pahali. He's held up. Just a foot away. An arm stretch away. And Young came out to make the tackle. And he didn't make it. And that left the gap. And that gave the invitation for Lefai to score. And for the first time, Samoa had a two score lead in this semi final. And at the moment, they're looking very good. They're looking exceptionally good on this left edge. Lafay, Luai, and South. They're all tearing this right edge of England apart. And they keep going after it. They got the differential penalty. And perhaps they would have took the two points and let England off. But they don't. They, they have to play on. And the ball, it's Milford's feet, Luai's feet. And then it's just a simple put down for a man who's probably been Samoa's best so far, Tim Lafay. Yeah, without England was stripped for numbers so quickly from the, the set restart and the tap. And Callum Watkins tried to go in and close the play down. It was really important that Dom Young got to Luai and close the play down. Neither did either. And so they ended up with the score in the corner. You want a definition of fury? I think we've just seen it. England up against it now. Samoa on the brink of history. Those with no emotional involvement in this game, who've loved rugby league, have watched international rugby league down the years, will be looking at this and thinking, wow, the history books are being rewritten here. But English fans are not interested in that. They want a sense of normality to return. Crichton with a kick. Eight points to difference. England had to score two tries at least to get themselves ahead from this position. Crichton's kick is drifting wide, but it remains the same situation. England 12, Samoa 20. England have to score twice, cannot afford to concede. And Dom Young's had a fantastic tournament, but he's just had a minute that he wanted to forget. He's dropped the ball for the scrum, and then he's come out looking to collect Lafayette, completely missed him. I mean, if he gets him, he's a hero, but he doesn't get him, and that's the bottom line, isn't it? Well, that's why it's a test match. Test your every decision of every minute of the 80 that you play. And at the moment, Samoa are playing it better than England are. 
Well, the noise is lifting now, trying to encourage England. England's line speed has just accelerated by about 50 miles an hour. But Samoa are happy to just keep that all rolling downfield. Pahali in wrestling with three of them. He's not an easy target. You have to work hard to put him on his backside. Samoa again, just right down the middle. Again, through the guts of that England defence. Milford's kick, Makinson underneath it. Safe into the bread basket and returned. Samoa up there in line to make the tackle. Well, the issue for England is to get to the other end of the field, whether they by rocking the ball out here and finding some space and restricting to a great play the ball here. There's an example of what's needed. Well, it's been now coming into the game. Get your runners on the ball, find some speed around the rock. There's a real urgency and energy about England at the moment in this set. Radley into that dummy half position. Watkins putting the step on. Back to Tompkins. Tompkins trying to hold off the defenders. Carries England closer. Radley, Williams. Williams now. Just thought he sensed a bit of daylight there, but it closed in quickly. Radley again. Tompkins punches the ball into the in-goal area too far, too far. The control kicking game has left England and Samar will quite slow it. Oh, there's a bit of a bit of a battle going on here. Luai and Tompkins, I'm not sure what started that, but now everybody's getting involved. Well, if you thought someone was going to start a fight here today, I don't think you'd have necessarily picked out those two. Bit of energy expended. The referee's going to have a look at this, just reminding them they can't afford to have anyone simbed in or sent off. It's still bubbling. It's menace, really. Now have a look at this. Luai. Luai's obviously having a chirp there at Tompkins. Tompkins has responded ill advisedly. Well, he's, he's not even touched it. And then Luai has gone for it. Gone for it. Oh. Well, Luai said something, clearly. We don't know what, obviously. Tompkins has just brushed his head, his hand over his head. And then Luai's grabbed a hold of him. I, I suggest the referee just says, right, sort it out, fellas, let's go back to the... To the yeah, there's nothing in there, but I think Samoa would be happy with that. I think Jerome Luai would be happy with that. He's got under the skin of the English captain there. And, you know, this gives him a break again. And they'll be after with this. Well, I reckon this penalty might go some other way. They've verbalised each other. Sam Tompkins has clipped him round the ear. It's nothing. Just, just play. Let's just play on. I agree. Give him a chat. Then let's get back to the 20 metre mark and take the tap. That's it. No more. No more. Good ref. It's probably Good the ref, frustration yeah. of the kick. You know, Sam Tompkins is normally, you know, very. You know, spot on with his execution, and that time it's just too deep. So the frustration and then the chirpiness of Jerome Luai has just, just got to him a little bit. Yeah, good referee, Gerard Sutton, got a hold of the situation, had a word with them both, calm down, fellas, and let's just carry on playing the game we love. And here we go. Here we go, Samar with seven tackles. Now this will be the zero tackle because, of course, it starts from that ball that was kicked dead. Harris Tavita looking left. Ball's been lost. Ball's been lost. Here's Don Young on the right hand side. Young has to come back on the inside. Young's going to be dragged down, but look how close. They're back on the attack again, England. Somebody's turned the volume up to 11. The noise incredible. Tonkins on his knees and can't get through. Try to but he can't get through on his knees. Radley just smashed in again by Mike Cooper. Balls to ground. England rescue the situation. They rescue the possession, if not the position. Radley to this left-hand side. Williams with a kick behind the line. Here they go. Wonderful piece of footwork. But it's a Simone body that drops on it tellingly. Elliot Whitehead's footballing skills in have those in the 
There's three corners at Bradford. He almost dribbled it over, but it's going to be a drop on underneath the stick. Well, it's good by England. It's quicker, it's more urgent. It's a great kick from Williams and one of the best show kicking games in the game. And there's an opportunity here. Should he have gone to and picked the ball up? Well, there's, there's four players in blue scrambling, putting the bodies on the line. Nobby and oh, I think it's Suali who gets there eventually. But it's another chance that they've missed. But Mike McMeekin, what an impact he had. Beautiful left foot from uh, Elliot Whitehead, by the way. That would be lost when we come to look back in the game. Here comes Hill. Well, every drive, every carry being met with a huge roar now from this English crowd. Remember, England have to score twice, and time is not with them. 17 and a half minutes to play. Right there. Williams. Williams almost through. Just dragged down impressively by Harris Tavita. Radley tripped over Harris Tavita. No penalty. The crowd are paying for it. But England had to start again. Tompkins. Back it goes to Wellsby. Wellsby's kicks too far. Too far. Hits the line. Oh, no. No, no, no. Sit back down. Sit back down. The ball hit the whitewash. Well. Well. Hang on. Yeah. We're looking at touching goal line. If it is no try, we've got Jerome Luai offside oh. and involved with oh. pressure on an early. Well, there's a twist. Yeah. So let's have a look, look and a no listen try. here with Adam G. To match the rector, can I please go back to the kick, freeze on the boot, and then we'll roll through from there, please. Yeah, and we're checking the confirmation. Okay, yep, onside. We'll follow through now. Okay, so I'm going to need close-up vision of the ball potentially hitting that line. Nice and slow here, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so the ball is on the line. We have an on-field decision of Jerome Luai offside. Yep. That penalty will stand. Thank you, Director. I've seen all the available angles. Yep. So they haven't won the jackpot, but they do have a very good uh, second prize here, England, a penalty. Jerome Luai offside. Samoa haven't heard that, haven't heard that. They were thinking it was a tap restart on the 20. England didn't realise that, and suddenly their spirits will be lifted. They thought they were defending a set of seven. Instead, they got a set of six to attack now. Suddenly the temperature goes up again, Dev. Suddenly the temperature goes up again, Gavin. What have they got, England? How can they prize on this Samoan defence? You've got to feel that they've got to come up with some points. It's probably the fourth occasion now they've been knocking on the door. They need to score. They need to score twice. But let's start with one, I think, <laughs> from an England point of view. Here we go. Six to go. Driven right in there by Mike McMeekin. Fresh to the fray, relatively speaking. Radley at dummy half. Tompkins, Williams, short again. Samoa's defence is just running on fumes at the moment, but it's still running. That's the important thing. Knowles, five metres out. Radley again at dummy half. Hills pointing at defenders. It goes beyond him to Tompkins. Now it's Wellsby. Here comes Farmer. Farmer's through the first line. What's he going to say here? Video ref to match director. We've got an on-field decision of try leading into tackle four. Can I get your best available angles as Herbie Farmworth comes into contact all the way through to ground? All play on at this point. Still in possession. We'll just get a close up now as he pulls away from that tackle into grounding. Yep, this should be good. Okay. Still see the ball there. Possession, possession. 
on the ball. He got one just from the other side just to make sure the ball is on the ground. Thank you. Yeah, this one. Thank you. I've seen all available angles and made my decision. He's been a young star rising throughout this tournament. Now we see him with his full brilliance, Herbie Farnworth. And England are back within touching distance. What a finish. What a left foot step and what upper body strength to crack, drag three Simone defenders over the line and finish that play. They created the numbers early and he's a great pass from Sam Tompkins, which released Herbie Farmworth on the second phase and it was just brute strength then off his left foot. We said that they needed to score a try, they needed to come away with points. He's actually beat six defenders there, six defenders. It took something special to get it over the line. What a game this is. Tommy Mackinson. Just settling himself. The crowd just settle as well. Mackinson wants to nail this. And he has nailed it. 18 points for England. 20 for Samoa. There are 15 minutes to play. These are going to be breathtaking. Well, it's five, Kev. I'll give you five Samoans. It's been two left one on the floor, one over the line, three and one twice. Three, okay, that's six. You can have your six. That's brilliant. And it's England back in the game, and there's 15 minutes left. And the way they've got back into the game is doing the simple stuff in and around the middle, getting forward, and then playing through Williams, Wellesley, 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 and Tompkins. Chris Hill is up for the battle. I think you probably have to drag him off in the next 15 minutes here, Chris Hill. Dom Young running with purpose and determination. But those Samoan defenders are meeting like with like. They are fighting for a place in a World Cup final. This is where every sinew is stretched to breaking point. Every lungful of air, so important now. England with the offload, that's good. Keeping it going, keeping it moving. Cooper put down, has a look at the referee. Now it's Williams, Williams dodging and darting. Really good stuff down the middle though. Papa Leahy, last play. Tompkins gets the kick away, up in the air. Soalihi underneath it. The 19-year-old wonder kid. It's a penalty, there. Penalty for England! Penalty for England! Running them off the ball! No, now, no. do they go for two here? Sam Tompkins run off the ball. Do they go for two here, or do they go for the throat? No, you go for two. Go for two. Draw the game up. I think it was Papalihi who just took Sam Tompkins out when he kicked the ball. It was a penalty, Kev. I think we've got a captain's yep. challenge on this as well. Let's hear from the video ref. Video ref to match director. We have a captain's challenge from Samoa. Can we please go back to the kick on a wide angle and follow through? We're looking at contact from Junior Paulo. Okay, can I get a close-up of the contact from Junior Paulo? So the ball... Sam Tompkins is in the air in a vulnerable position and is pushed to the ground late. The challenge is unsuccessful. Well, it would be hard for him to pull out of that, wouldn't it? Instincts would have taken him all the way through there. But letter of the law, penalty. Yeah, he's off the ground, isn't he? Sam Tompkins yeah. is he's off the ground. It's, it's a dangerous. And that, that's a big one, obviously, for the context of the game. It's a two-points opportunity now. But although the challenge, with 12 or 13 minutes to go, this is a big call. They're just making sure where the ball is caught, because that's where the penalty will be. So they're just making sure, and it is on the 10 metre mark. Does that offer an invitation? No, no, still, you're still no, kicking for goal. Points. You're still kicking for goal. I'm still kicking for goal, Kev. Yeah, you've got to kick for goal. It's, it's, it's even easier to get now, I think, Tommy makes in the way he's kicking. He'll be very confident, he'll knock this over. 
England will get the ball back and the, this place will go through the roof. What is it about England and Rugby League World Cup semi-finals? The heartbreak of the last seconds defeat in 2013. Sean Johnson's magical step. The incredible comeback by Tonga in Auckland in 2017. Kevin Brown got himself in the way of things and England hung on <laughs> on that day. Kevin Brown was a speed hump that day. Yeah, he and saved he, the game. Here Still we go, 13 minutes to go. It, yeah. And this is for Tommy Makinson to bring it back level again. Who's feeling the nerves now? Tell me if you're not tense. Makinson steps up and yep. Yep, we're all square. That looked like a distant dream just about five, six minutes ago. But England are now all square. Well, don't go away from what you're doing, England. The processes over the last ten minutes have brought them back into this game. Since they got urgent, since the clock started ticking against them, but they're playing really well-controlled football. They're playing the best football they've played the whole game, Kev. And you've got to feel sorry for the Samoans. To the letter of the law, it was a penalty. But the context of the game, that's a huge decision. There is so much fueling both sides now. England with the home support, with a World Cup on home soil. Samoa with their place in history is at stake. So they are both, both now going to take this to the very limit. Young put down. Hill again, arm over the ball and just driving it in. Golden point extra time, of course, if needed. I don't think either side would want that. Just at this stage, they want to win it in the 80. That's real nerve-shredding stuff if it goes as far as that. Natalie has to go back a step or two to take to play the ball. Tompkins, Thompson, bounding it in. McMeekin, rather, bounding it in. We've seen two fantastic semi-finals in this World Cup in the men's game. Different qualities. But equally tense. Tompkins with a kick down field. Suhali with a catch. That's oh, a great look shot. at Radley. Look at Radley. Well, I tell you what, I just draw a note, small note to Kev Brown. Since Radley went to nine, the team looks completely different. He's in again. It's England. not just his defence, it's his attack. This means everything to him and everything for these England players now in terms of stepping it up. Line speed. But discipline not to get offside, that's key. Samara almost making standing starts, which makes Junior Pala a different kind of entity. Samara have to go wide because England have forced them that way. Crichton helps it on. Oh, Toho just about keeps a hold. On that far side, last play, inside their 40. Milford kicks it away. Tompkins. Catches carefully on the bounce. Here's Dom Young. Four there, right in front of him, closing him down. Good solid impact though to get England on the front foot. Bateman had run a, a dummy run behind. Tompkins had mis, mis, miswatched him. Mickey McLaurin back on at a rest. He'll finish this game on now. Recharge his batteries. He'll fly into to this game defensively. Ten minutes left to play. All square. Ratley. What a warrior he's been. Real quality. McLaurin, I think, was looking for a penalty there with a player in the rock. Referee told him to get on with it. Do they think about a point here? No, they don't. They go wide. Williams puts it up instead. Keeps some art under pressure. Down it comes. Making some with a tackle on to her. Samoa start only five from their own line. Perfectly timed as well. Tall just jumped up and allowed his feet to get down there, Tommy Makinson, which allows this. Well, the, the line speed is different. In. The team is different. They're firing forward. They understand they've got to pull this up. And the collisions are just as hard as what now as they were at start. Who grabs their moment of history? This is a game that has to be decided. Samoa again looking left. Trying to make that break, trying to damage England's energy and nerve. Luai back to the middle. This now is May. May bounces off a couple, trying to make something happen. Matt Meekin says, no, you don't. 
smothers out the opportunity with that big tackle. Last again, pressure on the Samoan kickers. Milford gets it away, making some backs up. Sees that ball come down, catches safely, runs it back, looks for a bit of width here. Still Tommy Milkinson, great carry by Tommy Milkinson. There's that special play that Kev Brown's used to, 40 metres sideways and 10 metres forward. Dom Young, what a game. This is so tense. What a finish. McAloran. Here's Hill. Hill with a push. England in this arm wrestle period now, trying to get as much yards downfield as they possibly can. And Burgess just bounces into Spencer Lemieux, gets the pass away. Williams skips it on. Williams put down. Tompkins collects. Wellsby on its way, interception from Crichton, Stephen Crichton is going to go the distance for a huge try, Stephen Crichton with a try that might just win it for Samoa, that takes them into dreamland and possible World Cup history, the old order is shaken, the new order has a lead at a critical moment in the game. And I think it's Victor Radley, he's been sensational in this tournament. And he just wants to pass. And Stephen Crichton just makes the decision to stick his hand out and chance his arm and intercept the pass. It is, it's Radley. He looks to pass the ball and Crichton, once he gets it, Chris Hill you know, goes across, it's a valiant effort. But what an athlete this man is. Superb try, so important. Six and a half minutes left. Well, it's a four on two. And it's just Crichton picking his pocket. There's nothing else you can say. He's got away with those players right throughout the tournament, as you said, Kev. But Crichton picked his pocket. Oh, heartbreak. And of all the players, a lot of heritage on show here today. Pride in parents and grandparents. Stephen Crichton, born in Apia, the capital of Samoa. And his nation hearts are bursting with pride at that moment. Put the two grand finals of the last two years in a bag. This eclipses all those moments for Stephen Crichton. Yeah, and he's completely swung this game on its head. England looked like they were getting the ascendancy, and they looked like they were going to be in a position to have a chance of a drop ball. But what a player. You mentioned before, Dave, that someone has to step up and write the name in history. Well, Stephen Crichton's just done that for his nation. Gets to kick the goal as well. Well, this is huge, this is huge, because if he puts this over, then probably the best that England can hope for is Golden Point extra time, because they need a, a goal, a try and a goal to bring it level. If he puts this wide, then England still have a glimmer of a chance of winning it inside the 80. Here's quite And he has kicked it. And that gives them a toehold in the final. They're well on the way, the road to Old Trafford at the moment. Can England put the handbrakes on Samoan hopes and get themselves back into this World Cup? They've got five minutes now to do that. Well, the way they've been playing, they can. They've got to believe they're going to get three or four sets here. Probably a short kick-off here to try and regain the ball. Wow. Uh, and amidst, amidst the madness, you two have to pick a player of the match as well, so let us know who you think. England have it back! England have it back! That pendulum swing slowing a little. Is it coming back England's way? Burgess with a drive. Every man, woman and child, well, the vast, vast majority, bellowing now inside this stadium. Radley with a wrong to right. McAlora, Williams, Burgess again. His brother Sam was such an outstanding player in that semi-final in 2013. Radley now, Radley takes them close. One play to go, England are this close to retribution. Williams, Williams steps back. Tompkins, Luai, crowds him down. England desperate to keep it alive. Samoa come up with possession. And Chanel Harris-Tavita 
drops on the ball. And England just sink a little lower. It was Jerome Luai again who just shot out of his line. And you mentioned it before when Dom Young did the same. You're a hero if you get there, and he's a hero today. He's been sensational, and that's a massive play for his team. To hope up to the halfway line. Milford jogs over there. No hurry. No hurry at all from Samoa here. Simply a case of keeping hold of that ball. Trying to push as far as they can inside the English half. No risks taken now. Job very nearly done. So well, we'll look back on so many moments in this game. Lingi Sao's impact being one of them. Milford's kick. Makinson underneath it. Great flight of the kick because Makinson in the field of play. So has to run it back. And out comes the tackle of Lafay. Dom Young. Lafay again. Samoa will swarm in defence now. Three minutes to play. Radley. Radley trying to push. McAlorum. Now it's with Williams. Williams with the ball. Off he goes. Barber from his outside. Barber puts the foot down. Puts the foot down and chases. And Tommy Makinson is pointing it towards the sticks. Barber scores a try. Makinson has a kick to bring it level. And in a dying moment of this extraordinary game, England are given fresh hope. sums it up perfectly well he's been doing that for a decade in this country he jumps up and skips on the left hand side beats a tight end defender but then he's still got a lot to do he's going to suck in the fullback here he goes here's Williams steps kick jump Herbie Farmworth get with him and he gets with him gives him the ball open your legs Herbie get round the sticks here Tommy Megan says get under the sticks what a finish what a play from George Williams. We said at half-time, get George Williams on the ball. Straight through two people. Brilliant pitches we're seeing. Finds the right pass to the right person who's got the legs to get there. Well, it's Elliot White, isn't it, Paul? We're, we're on his outside and running so fast, we just thought it had to be Tommy Makers, yeah. but it was Elliot White. I think everyone in the ground was pointing for him to go a bit closer to the sticks. Well, settle down, everybody. Settle yourselves right down because it ain't done yet. England are still behind 24 26. This is the biggest kick of this man's life. A golden boot winner nine years ago. Now, this golden boot could put England level again. It's a tough kick, it's a tough kick. Can you bear to look? You might just want to listen. Makinson, a little bend of the knee. Silence descends inside this stadium. Makinson strikes it. And the flag's gone! The arms go! England's hopes are sky high again! It's all square with a minute to play. This incredible one. Keeps on delivering, and England still have a chance to keep on delivering. I'm sure my heart can take this golden point that's coming up. There's still a minute of this game. Go, Herbie! Go, Herbie! Go to the sticks, Herbie! Didn't need to, because Tommy provided the goods. 26 points apiece. Samoa resists the temptation to go short, because they know at the end of this set there could be a drop kick coming. A great 40 seconds to go, golden point extra time to go. Now it's rattled in by McMeekin. 15 short of the halfway line. McAlorum spins it out. Radley on to Hill. England, England goes the chance. There's Samoa voices in there somewhere. Drowned out by the home crowd. England with a break. Off he goes. Super stuff. Back on the inside. Scrappy handling. Ball goes to ground. It's thrown away. I think that might be it. Five seconds and counting. Samoa will attack the scrum quickly. They won't get time. Listen for the hoot up. 
It just needs to go the floor. Listen for the Herter. It's not sounding yet. We've not got full time yet. There we have. There we have. Just go to the floor. Just go to the floor. George Williams was there to drop a goal. Anyway, we've got golden point. What a game. Wow. Wow. I think I think we're only allowed one get wow again, Kevin. I think we can use five or six. Yeah, not one again. Wow, like this. wow, wow. You mentioned some of the previous semi finals, but this has got a bit of more dramatic. You know, the ebb and flow of this game, and even to the last play of the game, where Elliot Whitehead tries to find Victor Radley. We've got a shootout, and the fitness of the England boys, you know, they pride themselves on the fitness. Sean Wayne's really been pushing them hard in this competition, but Samoa have been fantastic as well. 80 minutes played, England 26, Samoa 26, but as we know, that ain't the end. Oh, well, there's some sick. words here. Some words here, aren't they? I don't know. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. What are you they know, doing to us? You know, you know what happens is, in your ear, a director goes, you talk, and I'm thinking, I'm not sure what wow, to say at the moment. I'm, I'm just not sure what Everest. to say, Jamie. So yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just gone back and forth, back and forth. This has been the most exciting end to the semi final I've ever seen. It just, the intensity was there yesterday, but this was sheer excitement. I know we're an England fan, yeah. but it's just been immense. Just I love the grit and determination by both sides not to surrender, won a win. Yeah, ent entertainment, wow. just 10 out of 10 from the game. Because it was all stats against England, and looked like it was going to get away from them when Crichton got that intercept. But England found something, and they found some spirit and some steel and some intensity, and it just dragged them into this game. And what, well, what a finish here. This man, Abby Barnwood, can we talk about him? Well, hang on, before we talk about him, and we're about to get underway, Willie, how are you feeling? Yeah, a bit itchy. A bit itchy yeah. I'm not worried about the Samoans right hand. Excited to see what happens now. It's a tough one. England's in the ascendancy here. Oh my word! Well, we somehow we managed to fill that two minutes. Uh, <laughs> golden point back to Dave Woods. Takes you back to being eight years old. The sun's going down on a chilly November evening. Your mum's called you in for your tea. Next score wins, fellas. Yeah. yeah next score wins. England and do that's the same. That's where we're at now. Next score wins. Receive the ball. You want the ball in golden point situation. Get down to the other end of the field. We thought Stephen Crichton had won it. Nah. Herbie Palmer has something to say about that. So both sides, if you're new to rugby league, if you're wondering what on earth is going on, what is this madness? Well, both sides know that one point now will see them into a World Cup final. It's so exactly the same do, set Woods as they did before. They'll just try and get themselves in a position where they can attempt a drop goal. England trying to get downfield, but there's also that balancing act of if you miss a drop goal and it goes dead, the other side gets seven tackles. Oh, it's going to be Samoa who have it. It's Luai. Samoa will get first chance here. Six tackles on the English line. So they will get a chance for a drop goal. Just plough the middle road like you were doing, England. Harris De Vita. Now it's taken on by Paolo. England know what's coming. England will be desperate to make sure they don't suffer a sucker punch, give away a penalty, concede a try, but they know at the very least there'll be a drop goal heading their way. Speed up the line is going to be massively important. Anthony Milford's already set. Anthony Milford. Charge down by England. England survives. Brilliant, Sam Tomkins, I think it was. Flew himself, threw his body at it. Elliot Whitehead. Elliot Whitehead again. Elliot Whitehead. Well played. Elliot Whitehead's been everybody on the pitch today. He can be. If he comes up with players like that, brilliant, Elliot. We're still not out of danger yet. Yeah, England know they'll have learned that lesson. You cannot make a mistake that deep. Radley. Radley put down on the fourth. Wellsby, Bateman, forward pass, 
than it was. Is huge again. They've offered Samoa another excellent position it here. It was a forward pass, Dave. It was a forward pass. I cringed as I saw it. It's just, it's just a bit lazy. It picks the ball up. Well, I don't think it's lazy. It's probably fatigue. Well, they might need something brave again here from England to defend this line. Samoa are on the brink once again. Kofusi back on the field here. Relatively fresh pair of legs, we say relatively, because there'll be a lot of tired legs out there. And this is Toho. Make more metres than anybody else at this World Cup as Brian Toho. He'll settle for a simple one point at the end of it now. Driven in by Paolo. Paolo. Slowed down, two gone, four to go, four tackles for Samoa, England will be hoping for a mistake, Luai, back it comes to Pahalihi, Pahalihi now, put on the ground, England slowing it down, have a look for Milford, Milford again is in position, but they're also going to go back to Crichton, Crichton's got time to try and win it for Samoa, and Stephen Crichton is a history maker! Samoa! into the final of the Rugby League World Cup. What a moment for Rugby League. What a moment for that nation. And in amongst it, what a moment for Stephen Crichton. English hearts are broken. It's not going to be a home nation success this year. But Samar have just written a huge chapter in the history of international rugby league but they've done it at the expense of england yeah heartbreak for england the last 20 minutes of that second half they came to life they dragged themselves back they got in the game but they're absolutely gutted gutted oh they put it on a plate but what a kick from stephen Crichton! hasn't he stepped up in this match to score the try and then drop the goal and you've just got to feel England have handed it on a plate, a forward pass and a drop ball to start the extra time. Devastated. Player of the match, I think you two are going to pick player of the match so quickly. Who, who is your player of the match? Yeah, it was Tussle has been candidates for George Williams for England, but for, for his in, in, his in protest and his direction around the field and his kicking game, Jerome Luai today for me has been probably the difference between the teams crucial times he stepped up made breaks made passes scored points wow again i mean what what are you thinking back home at the moment there'll be different emotions all around the world english hearts broken look at that elliot whitehead has done so much today deserved to be on the winning side but History will tell you that history has been made. England 26, Samoa 27. For the 